Hey everyone, so recently we've seen a lot of bans of the Chinese apps uh, like from TikTok to a lo lot of bans uh, to PUBGs and everyone. Uh, we've seen more than 150 Chinese apps been banned by the government of India of Chinese products. Uh, this has largely impacted to the licensing industry uh, per se for the toy industry uh, where a lot of Chinese products are being banned. But a major change that has happened now is about the music licensing industry the music licensing industry with the ban of tiktok we've got so many indian homegrown players who's come into the picture and is trying to make their mark on an everyday basis today i'm going to talk to you and i'm going to have a candid chat with someone who is into short video apps and who's changed the entire genre of how we see short videos Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, Licensing Corner. And today I have some very special guests with me for our candid chat. And that is uh, Rizzler's app, Mr. Lakshmi Nath. And we have Chris Small from Soundstrip Music. Uh, music licensing has been evolving in India for quite a bit. And it is continuously shape-shifting it in a very, very interesting way. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about Rizzler app. And we're going to talk a lot more about what a content creator needs to do and why they need to come on Rizzler app. So Lakshminath, starting up with you, uh, tell me more about the Rizzler app, the real people, real talk. I, that headline really uh, hit me. And I want to know more about this app. Could you please help us understand? Absolutely. Thank you, uh, Ritika. So um, Rizal, we... Um, started out while uh, TikTok was around and we looked at the landscape and we said that what is an area that, you know, TikTok um, isn't covering at the moment. And, and we started uh, a short video app where people can talk about uh, events of the day. Usually we supply prompts so that people can talk about uh, events of the day in um, 60 seconds or shorter videos. And uh, we provide um, an opportunity for uh, people to respond to videos using videos and not comments. So this results in uh, providing um, a, a friendly environment where, um, you know, someone wants to provide an opinion, they have to put a little bit of effort. And that usually keeps the trolls away and things like that. Now, in this context, uh, we had run the app and we definitely found good traction with respect to uh, people being able to talk to each other on, on, on Rizal on a variety of topics and, and so on. But over time, what we realized is that if somebody is not directly involved in the conversation, um, then the, some of the conversations aren't as interesting. And we found out that if we added a little bit of background music, all of a sudden the video's quality begins to improve. That's where we started looking around and Soundstripe was a great partner for us to bring in some background music to our app. And it's already making a good difference for us. And we'll keep building on this. Awesome. And I think it is very important because music is one space which connects to each one of us. Uh, and a lot of content creators would love music to have that impact. Chris, uh, please help me understand as it has been around for quite a long time. You have We have other platforms also like Artist List and Music Wine and you know, but I think Soundstrip is doing outstandingly well uh, in terms of original content, especially for filmmakers and music composers and, you know, people who are into the industry creating music. Tell me more about Soundstrip and why you chose Rizal app. Yeah, well, thank you <clears throat> so much for the compliment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Soundstripe, we, uh, we launched in 2016 and uh, we, we were founded by three musicians who were involved in either the session musician land or the touring space. And really the company was built on this idea of providing consistent, stable income for musicians. Um, <clears throat> we saw, um, and this was around 2016, obviously explosive growth with user generated content and platforms that were supporting content creators. And then this massive roadblock, which we're still kind of fighting against with, with music licensing and not making um, licensing accessible, affordable, and also having high quality music available for content creators. So for us, you know, when we started the company, it was, it was a very, very much, how do we, 
how do we provide a consistent, stable income to these really talented musicians? And we're based in Nashville, Tennessee, Music City. Uh, and how do we how do we support them? How do we create something that that is predictable for them? And what we found is that that mission of keeping uh, them creating and keeping them uh, earning an income um, actually worked very, very well for the content creator community as well. So we were having, you know, early on content creators reaching out to us saying, hey, I was able to do this short film because music licensing costs were so expensive before and I didn't have the ability to do that. And Soundstripes enabled uh, me to do that. And with our very kind of straightforward, simple licensing solutions, what we're hoping to do and what we're continuing to do is empower creatives to make amazing content, elevate their production value, and really just uh, remove the barriers to keep them doing what they do best. And that's creating excellent content that people love to engage with and love to view. So when we uh, first uh, got connected with Rizzo, we're, I was very, very excited because, you know, the the purpose and the mission of that company of, of, of Rizzo is very, very in line with what we do. We're a company that serves creatives and serves creators, and uh, and so I was very excited to um, to partner up and learn more about how we can support the Rizzler community for sure. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Awesome, um, Chris. One more question to you is, uh, you know, the music licensing industry and the way the business model functions. You know, uh, mm -hmm. how is the industry moving right now? Or uh, you know, where there are a lot of record labels, but right now we have a lot of pools of indep independent artists who's coming into the picture. So how do you think is this model working out now? So it's changed significantly, even since Soundstripe entered the market in 2016. If you think about back then, the micro, and what we call this music licensing space, um, at least how we think about it, is really like the micro music licensing, right? Like traditionally you had music licensing um, for feature films or broadcasts or really there was a, there were several gatekeepers in the middle of that licensing fees were very um, arbitrarily priced in certain situations and then also very hard to acquire. You had to go through several gatekeepers in order to get there. And as the, uh, as the platforms started supporting content creation and distribution, there became an increasing need. I mean, you think about, the, you know, the YouTubes, the Twitch, the Facebook, and of course, all of the um, content creation apps that are now empowering people to produce and distribute content of their own. Um, that's skyrocketed over the past few years. And what that's done is really helped shape a change. And in my view, in Soundstripe's view, a very positive change for music licensing to become accessible. And, um, and, and what, it, what it forces music companies to do is think about their model in a way that's actually going to be uh, beneficial to the creator and actually, you know, think about a model that's going to open up um, accessibility and affordability, but also still compete on quality because that's always got to be something that, um, you know, that's table stakes now. For, uh, for the music independent artists, for the, for the music creator, it's also opened up a lot of opportunities um, for monetization that did not previously exist. Absolutely. And so uh, what we have found is that Soundstripe and our competitors, some of those that you've mentioned, have, um, have really provided conduits for musicians, really talented creatives and musicians to earn a substantial living creating music. And uh, that's something that, um, you know, even five years ago was very, very difficult to do. And so that's something that, uh, that Soundstripe is certainly proud of. And do you think that uh, independent artists are continue to grow and music licensing landscape is going to uh, change drastically, even what is right now to, you know, something else altogether? What, what do you think about that? Well, I think, you know, what we're seeing is... Uh, an increasing awareness among the major technology platforms of how, how important music licensing is. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, um, the uh, hearing with Jeff Bezos. And the, it was, a, it was a, um, a, hearing, a congressional hearing <clears throat> with, with some of the major tech founders, right? So yeah, not tech founders, but tech CEOs like Tim Cook and, and Jeff Bezos and these others, you know, and, and Jeff Bezos was, was asked a question point blank about music licensing as it relates to Twitch and did not know an answer um, about how to 
address the issues with music licensing and that that was a very interesting thing you know for as as a as a music licensing company it's really interesting to see um, that issue get brought up at that level and um, and so I, I think that what we are going to see the short answer to your question is that we are going to see an evolution continue here. Um, I don't think that it stops where it currently is. Music licensing has been somewhat democratized, and that's a good thing. Um, but I think it's going to continue even further as, uh, as you know, technology companies and, and even companies like, you know, Rizzle. I'm, I'm very, very um, excited and optimistic and proud of you know, this partnership, because these are, these are emerging companies that are believing in uh, music licensing, supporting creators and figuring out ways that, you know, that uh, partnerships that actually make a difference for the creative community on both sides of the spectrum. And, um, and so I think we're going to continue to see that. I think it absolutely will continue to evolve. And, um, and, and to what end, your guess is as good as mine at this point, but it is definitely moving, I believe, in a positive direction. Absolutely. Lakshmina, coming on to you, um, recently we saw TikTok got banned because of India-China war and a lot of other Chinese apps that got banned. Uh, I yeah. saw a huge, huge surge in downloads of Rizal app. Uh, I think you had 6 million downloads, uh, both India and US. Uh, if, correct me if the numbers are wrong or they have gone up, uh, which I'm sure yeah. they have. Um, yeah. I want to know more about your association with Soundstrip and what is it that it's bringing on to the table? Right, right. So, um, you know, we're, I think, uh, may have crossed 10 million or somewhere thereabouts right now. Um, so um, after uh, TikTok um, kind of uh, has been removed from the uh, Indian App Store uh, as well as Play Store access or whatnot and also removed uh, from India altogether, um, there has been a lot of sampling going on on a variety of platforms and that includes us as well. So we need to somehow hold on to all that audience, right? That's the key, key part. And uh, we also need to see how we can encourage uh, content creation in the right direction. So, um, you know, historically um, with the TikTok model in India, um, mostly song and dance plus um, a little bit of skits type of content has been uh, created, which is good, which is entertaining and it's, it's good. But uh, TikTok globally, and especially in the US, has been able to achieve a lot more diversity. A diversity that, in fact, uh, Rizal was aiming at when you know, we, we started out. But then you know, a lot of people on TikTok have started creating some of the content that uh, we, were able, uh, we were trying to push. But nevertheless, we do have several more areas that... Uh, uh, you know, differentiate us from uh, TikTok even, right? Even if TikTok, TikTok comes back into India, we'll still be able to compete. So a couple of those areas uh, are these prompts-based video creation and discussions. That is definitely one, one area. Um, and we've, we've started a model where we try to encourage people to create channels and host their own shows. And we call them, you know, Result 360, R360, uh, things like this. And this is an area where our original... Um, you know, innovation uh, kind of came about. Like we provided people for uh, intro music and things like this, intro animations and things like that, provided a capability to separate out their content into different channels. Mm -hmm. And we also provided a variety of things like uh, um, uh, sound effects so people can add. In fact, uh, Soundstripe has introduced us to another company. We don't want to talk about it uh, in terms of name, but once we sign up with them, we'll mention their name and everything else. Uh, we are we are going to sign up with them, and we'll bring more sound effects to the uh, to the system, so that people can create what we call R series, where people can create uh, sitcom type of content and and things like that. It can be very uh, interesting and innovative. Uh, so some of this activity goes on on YouTube and so on, but the way uh, things are produced for YouTube, it's a little bit of high cost unit action. Uh, to create one video takes some effort and usually people publish one video like a, a, every three weeks and things like that. So with Rizal and with uh, Soundstripe music, uh, Soundstripe music uh, integrated as well as sound effects integrated and some more music that we are under discussions with, uh, with some of the Indian labels and so on. Uh, once all that comes in, this uh, episodic series type content um, will be possible to create on Rizal. Now, some of that is already going on. 
uh, but you know it's kind of bland um, and has been bland until soundstripe has come about and now you know everyone even our engineers are able to say that there is a now there is a significant difference in the quality of content i'm able to watch all the way to the end and you know maybe even watch again and things like that right music kind of you know smooths it out yes makes Absolutely. any calm or quiet moments in in drama kind of pass easily right Th- these types of things you know we should have realized a little bit earlier but you know now is not too late um we have a lot of future and bright future ahead for reserve absolutely um when i went through the app i downloaded the app last night and i went through it and i saw there are a couple of uh, parameters where you have prompt you have collaborations uh, but everything yeah. that you do on rizal app is you have to record it right away so anything that i have to upload it from a previous content which i might have already created uh, i'm not able to upload it do you think this is going to hit as a drawback to the app or are you trying to have that thing adapted to your app yeah so what we have seen is see um there was uh, a flood of new activity when uh, tiktok was removed and the flood of new activity unfortunately was not in the right direction in the sense that a lot of people were uploading content that has a lot of other people's music you know copyrighted music right and so we don't want that coming into our platform and as you know that is a little bit of a negative on us uh, in, in the sense that people want to upload it but that puts us in trouble with copyrights right now there are some platforms in india which don't care about it but we do right we want to make sure that we have controls in place uh, to ensure that original content is created and if someone is uploading content we want to 100% make sure that they are a serious person that they are uploading content that they have created with music that we have permission for we have copyrights for so we take these um matters very seriously because all around um people who have created this music or sound effects and other people they are also creators and they need to be compensated right and that's quite important and sometimes it's uh, lost in the hurry to come up with a new platform and put it out there or what not so the controls are especially necessary pretty soon we'll be opening up uh, that aspect of it with some more uh, technology controls uh that again you know uh, rutika we will talk about in more detail uh there are technologies that we can employ to check on whether music and other things that have been uploaded uh, are copyright protected and we, whether we have copyrights for it and so on so we will do that okay and uh, talk to me about the monetization front on the rizal app because i see uh, the monetization has three levels of it silver gold and platinum and you have certain percentage per month uh, that goes to the content creators and users can pay or sponsor of certain creators uh, you know content and which is something not seen before in india uh, it's very unique it's immensely impressive what you did here because content creation is a key where a lot i mean i come from a digital marketing i run an agency into digital marketing so we know how much we spend for each ads uh content creation for a lot of our influencers and you know whenever we do a pr campaign or we work with certain celebrities uh in content creation a lot of money that goes into it so how do you uh explain me a little more on the monetization front on that yeah so we wanted to see if we can help out uh creators in terms of monetizing their creativity as soon as possible right it won't be on day 1 i think uh, i think we put in some controls where we say that after a certain amount of content has been created and you know when uh, viewers can um, figure out some kind of an attachment to the creator that then they can gain confidence enough to say that maybe we can sponsor this particular creator that creators can opt in right they can say that they are ready to receive sponsorship so this turns out to be important because some creators say look i don't want to have this extra complication and and so on which is fine right and once creators choose to accept sponsorships we have seen that even in india and you know you may be surprised that people are beginning to sponsor creators which is very good right we try to lubricate the process by giving coupons and things like that uh, but we've seen direct in app purchases uh, happening towards uh, you know sponsorships it's very early it's uh, small in terms of its volume but once the habit begins to uh, pick up then i think everything will work out in a, in a nice way so we'll we'll keep watching this area and we'll keep making it easier and and things like that um tell me why is it important for users to use uh, copyrighted 
and licensed music piece because uh, right now we saw you know instagram is banning like i just did one live video with, i love going on a long drive so i just did one live video where i'm driving and then you know i'm just enjoying having fun with the music and then that video got removed because of the copyright issue from the instagram and the similar thing that is what we see on you know facebook as well so every platform now is you know app applying this music licensing system so uh, how do you think and why do you think it is important because a lot of consumers who are not content creators who are just you know there on the app to enjoy it and have their good time or uh, may be upset or because of this reason so how do you want to tackle that or what do you want yeah, to yeah well yeah that's a that's a really really good question so <clears throat> you know um the platforms themselves are really driving a lot of the reaction to um the user base and needing to actually go about music licensing in a, in the the legal and correct way so as that as the algorithms are becoming more sophisticated it, act, it actually is driving adoption from the user base of doing things in um in in a legitimate fashion in terms of music licensing. So I think what we're seeing is is actually a lot of um the the features that are uh being developed from the platforms themselves allowing creators to act have access. You know, one of the big issues and the reasons why uh why users or or content creators um were using music in an illegal way is simply because they just didn't have a very easy way to do it the the access to quality music just didn't it wasn't there and so not only are you running into an an educational issue with needing to access uh music in a legal way but you're you're acts you're you're running into it from a technology standpoint too and in, in fact just because the music is not readily available to these content creators And so, you know, what's beautiful about these emerging technologies and, you know, uh partnerships uh like Rizzle and Soundstripe is that, you know, we're addressing both issues, right? So the uh Rizzle has decided that uh going about music licensing in a legal way and providing access um to their uh to their creators, to the Rizzlers in a legal way is important as a value to the company. and and they've also invested in providing the technology uh partnering with Soundstripe and uh you know in our licensing terms make it easy for uh creators to have access to quality music and and i think that that is um you know that's definitely that's that's a big step in the right direction super what are the investment strategies when it comes to investing in india so um i'll i'll go first uh chris if that's okay um so for us uh you know uh, as it was for tiktok uh india is one of the biggest markets uh, in fact you know uh, between the us china and india uh, these three markets are competing for number one position in the short videos uh, in terms of volume and everything else um in in that area you know chris if you guys uh, expand into india and try to bring in indie creators there are so many of them uh into your platform in some ways uh, that could be very interesting right and and it gives them an opportunity to uh, monetize their their creativity and there is a lot of interesting uh, indie content out there and we try to do some of those deals but um it's a lot of overhead for us um so instead what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to have uh, discussions with the bigger music labels sign them up so that we can provide um access to that content to our creators right and and we are going to work on a number of plans in terms of improving uh, creators uh, quality in terms of uh, helping them become better creators in terms of being able to host their own show or uh, you know host their own series and so on in fact we will be very proud if uh, some of our creators go on to become youtube stars we would want them want them to stay with us but if they go on to become youtube stars because of their practice on rizzle and so on that would be a pr- proud moment for us So, uh, Lakshmin, I also wanted to ask you was that that uh, YouTube also started off with the short video content, uh, where you know you can upload short videos up to one minute or so. Uh, then, how are you tackling that aspect of uh, the? Because as a result, you have lot of competition. Like you know, MX Tata Tata is coming up. They 
they bought Bhatshya in it and you know it's suddenly you know because of course it's a times property so uh, they are going into altogether different angles but how are you managing uh, you know with YouTube as your major competitor how are you taking that so for, first of all it's a big market right it's a it's a big market and um, you know there is, there is enough to go around for everyone and, and and so on and this area is just barely starting out that's for sure now um, you're absolutely correct uh, you know instagram and youtube and a number of other people uh, are trying to get into this area and we'll watch out as to you know what they are going to do and what type of traction they receive and and you know on youtube uh, versus our platform and so on see our model is that we are going to continue to have great relationships with uh, creators on Brazil uh, to be able to support um, their creativity by providing, of course, uh, music and uh, soundtracks like uh, uh, that we are doing from Soundstripe, uh, but also through direct relationships. So um, our uh, creator relationships team is one of the key aspects um, that is working out very well for us. Now, in fact, this is something of a page that we've taken from YouTube. YouTube in the early days used to be very encouraging of their creators or whatnot, and they've now become very big. So what happens here and what's very interesting is that are we going to be able to make many small creators into, um, you know, very creative, and come up with series type content and, and, and so on. And that is definitely unique for us, right? Um, and I think that's going to be the edge that we will, we will continue to have. Chris, you want to add something on the investment front and of course the later part? For sure. So I can say uh, Soundstripe is very, very excited about, um, about kind of going up even deeper and further into the Indian market than we currently are. In fact, we're just getting started really in that front. And um, I will say, you know, in terms of the investment into the creative community there, there's really a couple different, uh, a couple different areas that, that we're really, really excited about. And, you know, Soundstripe has always been our core business is actually a direct to consumer business, right? So we provide music solutions to filmmakers, content creators, uh, you know, social media creators, and um, everything in between agencies, broadcasts, media companies, and that, you know, when we got started, it was um, that that's the core business that we offer. So we have lots, lots of, uh, of members of Soundstripe's platform that are Indian based filmmakers and creators. And um, so we're certainly interested and uh, looking forward to continuing our investment and our awareness with the market there. The other front is that we're also very, very interested in figuring out um, ways to expand our music acquisition model into the Indian market. As as um, uh, India is a, a very, very uh, creative place, right? There's a there's so many uh, uh, different um, uh, different ways that we could go about that, and we're really, really excited about trying to figure out how to crack that code. Um, so far, I would say the vast majority of our uh, production, our music creation talent, is based in the U.S. And expanding that internationally, particularly in India, is something that uh, that we're really, really excited about looking forward to here in the coming months. And then I would say, you know, the third thing that is um, most obvious in, in this conversation is we're looking for really, really solid strategic partners, right? So um, partnering with companies like Rizzle, helping Soundstripe get uh, visibility with the creator uh, ecosystem, the creator environment there in, um, in India is another way that we're, that we're really, really excited about, um, you know, moving forward into the future. Um, I want to know about one last minute take about anyone who wants to try Rizal app. What do you want to say to them? Any content creators? Uh, this is going to go on YouTube. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, so my uh, uh, audio is still on, I hope. Uh, so, um, you know, we definitely are uh, looking for, um, you know, new creators to become great creators on, on, on Rizal. And, um, you know, we onboard uh, thousands of creators, new creators every day. And, you know, there, there's a, it's a growing community uh, where there are opportunities for collaboration, of course, and opportunities to uh, create Rizal series and uh, host your own show where you may not have great equipment uh, in terms of being able to host a YouTube show or whatnot. But, you know, the, the vertical format on your own smartphone will be a great way to get started 
and we have all the tools that are available, including background music and so on that comes from Soundstripe and, 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 and so on. And of course, when everything works out and they become great creators on Rizzle, they can of course stay on because we, are, we have a growing community of viewers and we're at 10 million strong and growing. Uh, and they can build out uh, their own audience and build sponsorships on our app. We conduct contests um, every day, whether it is on uh, 360 or uh, on series, so they can participate in those. That's another way of engaging with the community and perhaps winning some money as well. So these are all uh, potential opportunities to, first of all, build your own talent level, build an audience for yourself, and perhaps you know eventually monetize as well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Chris, your last one minute take. Well, I just got to say, I'm just very excited. I'm just, I'm just pumped to be here. And, uh, and again, I will say, um, uh, really, really excited about the future. Um, I also have, have downloaded the, the Rizzle app and have checked out a bunch of creators there and already found uh, content that I have laughed uh, viewing and enjoyed watching. And um, so, you know, again, the, 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 I could not be more excited about partnering with a company that serves the creative community and empowers creatives to express themselves and create content that people enjoy watching and engaging with. And so uh, very, very excited about the future. And thank you for taking the time to, uh, to chat with me today. Super. Yep, thank think, you. Thanks. Uh, Thanks both I think Rizal is one app, which is a breath of fresh air amongst all that uh, monotony of dance and video, which we have been tired game for uh, Rizal. I have downloaded it last night. I am content we can do as a news media and, you know, talk about it in a more detailed way. Absolutely, and Rudika. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you yeah, so Rudika, much, Chris. Thank you so much, Lakshminath, for taking time out and speaking to us. Thanks, Rudika. I appreciate thank, it. Thank you. Yeah. So like you saw, guys, um, Rizal is one app that you need to download if you are a content creator. I think it's not just limited to 15 seconds video and 30 seconds video. You can create video up to 60 seconds and you can do a lot of things like, you know, collabs, you can do promotions, you can... Uh, do Q and A's. You can run a talk show, so it's pretty exciting space. Um, like the you know the tagline says that you know real people, real talk. I think Rizal is one app that you should all download. And if you are a content creator, I think that's the place to go to. And please do check it out. And if you really like my video and you really like my content and you want to see me on Rizal as well, please hit the like button. Please comment below and. Um, I will start creating some content on Rizal uh, to understand as to how it functions. And I will come back with my review on that as well uh, sometime next week. So stay tuned and stay safe.